we're in the middle of a desert, and this garden was created in the middle of a desert through uh, Colorado River water. Without that water, wouldn't be able to produce all the vegetables we do. So you want to have a little cooler climate so the plants could survive rather than getting heat stressed. The desert valleys produce the vast majority of winter vegetables that get shipped all over the country. This is a huge linchpin in America's food supply chain. The elephant in the room right now is the, the water cutbacks and how it's going to affect farming. Absent any proactive measures, yes, we could run out of water. If the drought gets so bad that no water can pass through Hoover Dam and go downstream, it's totally useless. With the way Lake Mead and Lake Powell are dropping, it presents a, a big, big problem. We've reached the era of limits, competing for the same uh, resources, water being the main one. All the areas of the desert southwest use Colorado River water to produce over 90% of the leafy greens consumed in the United States in the winter months. Without that water being delivered to us, we're all toast. We all want food security, food grown in this country, not imported. That means water needs to be used for irrigation. Sleepless. There are nights it's very hard to sleep. There's dire consequences ahead. Do I want to play Russian roulette with all chambers loaded? The choice is theirs. We have done so much to support the desert southwest with our water transfers in the history. But it has gotten to a point where these areas around us, Los Angeles and Orange County and Phoenix and Vegas, we believe it's kind of time for them to kind of do a little bit more. It will take more water for population to continue to increase. Where will that water come from?